Fun part about Canyon Near Wild. All right, everyone, today we are in Wall Ball and we have come out to go canyoneering. Yay! To pick up where we left off, after a great first day in Manila, we were so excited to see more of the city, but I got hit hard with a bad case of food poisoning that lasted the entire week. Before we knew it, it was time to leave Manila. We're leaving Manila and we're on our way to Cebu. We took a short one and a half hour flight to Cebu and landed at Mactan Island where we took a grab across the bridge to Cebu City's South Bus Terminal. From there, we boarded a four hour bus to our final destination, Wall Wall, located along Cebu's western coast. Thank you. Yeah. All right. You All right. comfy back there, babe? Yep, I'm comfy. Let's go. Are you uh, Korean? Yes, I'm Korean. Yes. How, how did you know? Because <laughs> of your eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, nice and cozy room here. So I get a table to work on the editing. Yeah, oh, yeah. looks good. <laughs> Everyone, we're gonna do some canyoneering. So we're waiting for our bus right now. We're gonna go on, get on board and then we're gonna start our tour. This is our ride to Cosmos Falls. So we're in the jeepney ride. We're told that after we get there, they're gonna be a one guide for three people. Canyoneering is an adventure sport where we descend through a canyon by hiking, climbing, jumping, and more. And we heard that Moab Wall is famous for it. So we booked a group tour for 1,500 pesos each. All right, so we just arrived and first thing that we do is we're filling out an injury waiver. So I'm a little bit nervous. So we just have to be careful. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Getting geared up. So we have a vest that we wear, we have aqua shoes, and we have a helmet. Safety Look first. at you. I'm ready. Okay, thank you. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, yes. All right. This is such a better ride than the one that we rode in here to get here. They somehow fit 14 people in one jeepney. We're here, we're all geared up and we're ready to go. Yes. So we're just waiting for others to get here. I think there is like a final checkout for your safety gears. And then they go take you down in a group. There are loads of people here and they're just like a sea of colors because the helmets are just colorful. <laughs> Neon, green, and orange helmet. <laughs> and for us, obviously, we're red helmets. We're red. I'm getting kind of nervous. Why? I'm kind of scared. Really? I'm excited. We're at the top right now, and we found out we have a 45 minute walk, but they give you the option of taking the zip line instead. That's really tempting. So it's 600 per person, 600 pesos walk or zip line. I don't know. Uh, we don't what have do you money, think? So. You have to walk. <laughs> okay. So we have a 45 minute walk to the falls, and I think I heard there were seven points where you can jump off the falls. Six for now. Six. Gotcha. I only have to be brave six times today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the tallest one? 10 meters. And supposedly it's 14 meters, but the 40 meters jump is close. Ah. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, yes. 40, 40? 14. A uh, 14, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I get one, one pass. No yeah. 14 meters yeah. today. Yeah. But 10 meters, that's still pretty tall. That's still pretty tall. <laughs> My goodness. The road is nice and paved. All right, so we just made it through the first part of our hike and we met up with the zip liners and then we have 10 more minutes down and then we take our first jump. First jump, let's go. Let's go. All right, so we're getting closer and you can hear the screams from below. <laughs> Scared tourists down the falls below. That'll be us soon. Well, I'm starting to see the cliff over here. All right, so we made it to the bottom. We've worked up the sweat. And we're about to go on our first jump. Whoa. Oh, 
much cold water. <laughs> it's really cold. <laughs> this waterfall behind us. Yeah. Oh. My God. oh. <laughs> Look at the cave-like looking wall over here. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's deep here. It's Is deep it? Here, yeah. They gave us some instructions. They said when you jump, it's really strong. So you have to hold your nose like this. Not like this. So I'm ready, like this. I can do this. Let's go. <laughs> so babe, how do you feel before your first jump? How was your first jump? Oh man, it was really fun. I was a little scared at first because I'm a little scared of heights, but no worries, it's not, it doesn't hurt whatsoever jumping into the water. It was really great. Yeah, and the guys are really helpful. They tell you like where to put your feet, where to jump and everything, so it's been great. So if you don't want to jump, you can climb down on the side like that. But jumping was definitely the way to go. The way out, out of the waterfall is amazing. It's so beautiful. The cliffs are covered with moss and plants. Crystal clear blue water. This is seriously so beautiful. I'm going to do it. Jump right in the middle. Oh, in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, ready. Go. One, two, three, go. Let's go do the big jump. So he said this is seven meters, which is pretty high, but we're gonna do it. But yeah, you can do it then. Oh my god, it's so cool. There goes Sarah. <laughs> You did it! Man, that was a long jump. That was a really tall jump. This is so much fun. The Philippines is so beautiful. We're just diving through this gorgeous canyon. So you get adventure, you get amazing views. You get fun tour guides. <laughs> I saw a backflip, man. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so one other fun part about Canyon near what? It's, it's slipping. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So one other fun part about canyoneering is that you get these insane scenery of coming out of a jungle cave almost. And you see the sunlight coming out and it's so beautiful. It really matches with this cliff that's covered in green vines and tree leaves. It's so beautiful. So when you're climbing over these slippery rocks, a lot of times you have to be on your hands too because you don't want to slip and my boat pro doesn't float. So I have to hold on to the camera as well. Wow. So we're halfway through and there's a stand selling barbecued meat. Wow. Look at these skewers. Hot dogs. Is there anyone driving you? Uh, no, it's okay. Thank you. You can feel that or... Oh no, I, I didn't bring my wallet from the hotel. Oh. Oh, sorry. Looks good. One, two, three, go! Another cool part is that you, you can just float down the water. What is the cool part about canyoneering, babe? Everything. You should try it. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, 
All right, so our last final jump is that tall tree over there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's the that tall tree. That is definitely a sing hen humor joke. So I'm really glad they gave us some aqua shoes to wear because otherwise our feet would have been sliced in half and we would have had a difficult time walking over these bumpy rocks. What do you think? That was amazing. The best way I would put it is the nature's playground. Nature's best playground. All right, so we're by the last fall. As you can see behind me, there's a jumping point. It's a cliff and people are lining up to make a great jump and it looks super tall. It's 10 meters high. Gerald's been giving me a bit of a pep talk, so I'm ready. All right, we're going up. Baby, you got this. I'm scared. It's a pretty steep way up, if you ask me. Okay, okay. okay. Nah, do set, go. Nah, do slit. Nah, do slit. We also took our turn on a rope swing. It didn't go as planned. Oh my gosh, so we just did our jump. It was so cool. We did the swing one and I tried to do a backflip and I just straight up landed on my face. <laughs> and I landed straight on my back. So we're like the fail couple today. It was great. I want to do it again. <laughs> Although I think my favorite one was the 10 meter jump mm. and you get the adrenaline rush, right? Until you go get into the water. So I noticed a lot of the waterfall obviously is naturally made, but they put the stairs here, places that you can hold on to. I think it's a really good mix. I love it. Yeah, and you always have a guide telling you where to put your feet, where to jump, and they're always helping you along. So it makes it a lot easier. It takes the fear out of it. So as we go through these walking parts, there are so many beautiful places to take pictures and to look at one after another. It's just non-stop, just beautiful waterfalls. At last, we reached the bottom of the falls. From here, we trekked about 15 minutes out and had a quick Sipmo lunge that was included in our tour. We dropped off our gear, and finally, we hopped in the jeepney to head home. Go back tomorrow. <laughs> <sighs> so we just got back after an amazing day of canyoneering. That was a blast. I highly recommend if you're gonna be near Mont Wall, Go canyoneering, it's totally worth it. Time went by super quick. It's already 4 p.m. Uh, we left about 8 a.m. in the morning and no. it just flew by. That's how much fun we had. Thank you for joining us today and we will see you in the next one. Yep.